Hello fellow Springfieldians, it's Ella Arthur here, and we're coming back for another video on the yearbook mystery box. And I'm so sorry, but I cannot be doing a spoilers video today, basically because, um, well, the article might not be released till midnight, and obviously, I don't think I can stay up till midnight. So, I'm sorry, but I will be doing the um, video on the Halloween update straight away when it comes out which will be tomorrow okay so um yes so here you have temple beth springfield basketball stadium whacker mall burns limo and lincoln's cabin so my favorite would be temple beth springfield because i love Krusty's dad rabbi krostovsky and lincoln's cabin would be nice as well the basketball stadium's cool uh, maybe not. I wouldn't like Burns Limo to be honest. But anyway, let's see what we get. <gasps> whack a mole, whack a mole. Um, well, so we'll just put whack a mole down here for now. And then we'll just tap on it. Hey! And because of that, guys, we're gonna open something else. So, come on, we've got another shot. So, here we go. <gasps> Lincoln's cabin. It's not going on the squid port. So, here we go. I know him. Just call me Honest Abe, Abraham Lincoln. 4th of July. Brilliant. Hmm? <laughs> He's got a voice. Four score and seven years ago, our forefathers. What the? Where did Getzberg go? What land is this? What's with all the blue houses? <laughs> Good Glavin. It's Abraham Lincoln. The cashing in of so many expensive donuts must have opened a wormhole to the past, ensnaring our 16th president. By Jingo, my good nerd. Are you talking about t t t t tr time travel? I am. Tell me, in your own time period, have you ever had contact with the ancestors of the Simpsons? He did once. It was only a few lines of dialogue, though. It's kind of hard to see how that justifies them appearing here. It does seem odd. Odd and desperate. This is a lot to digest. I need to relax by doing the funnest, most rewarding activity in the world. Make Abraham split rails. Hmm? Oh, okay. So this is his first animation, split rails. I'm assuming he's just going to split rails in half. And we're going to wait for him to come out, but from behind that green thing. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Split rails. Oh, okay. No, he's going to the cabin. And we're going to see the cabin's animation as well. Ooh. Now that is cool. I like the smoke coming out of the chimney as well. Of the cabin. Look at him, he's he's got his top hat off doing the the manly work. He is. Yes. Hmm. Split railed. Oh, creaky door. Hmm. There we go. Splitting rails. Okay. Oh, Lisa's wearing a purple cap. Marge? Mr. Lincoln, did you know that our country now has its first African American president? Pretty amazing, huh? Well, it took you long enough. I would have thought it had happened by 1920, 1930 at the latest. Well, there's some step backs along the way. No, no. You all got right of patting yourselves on the back for being a bit less racist after 150 years. Well done. Seriously, you guys rock. Uh, hey look! Over there! Unsplit rails! Unsplit rails? Let me at him. Make Abraham Lincoln split rails mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. They've seen this. What? 
Okay. So when do I get to go back to my own time? Soon. I just need to do... I just need to de the Hoyven maven Then it's a simple matter of breaking every law of the physical universe and pressing this big red button. Excellent. Really looking forward to finish up the civil, finishing up the civil war, serving my term in office, and enjoying a long retirement. Huh. What? What did I say? Why are you looking at me all weird? Make Link, make Abraham Lincoln feel paranoid. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, still got, still got some good animations. Mm -hmm. I like this. I like. The um, president's quest line, and hopefully, they add some more presidents into the game. How come every time I mention how much I'm looking forward to retiring, starting an al alpaca farm, <laughs> and living to a ripe old age, people get awkward and change the subject? So, <laughs> how is the weather in DC this time of year? Now you're doing it. Why? Are alpacas not a sound investment? You can be honest. I'm not married to the idea. It just seemed like a fun way to pass many, many golden years. Uh, oh, he's feeling paranoid again. Yes. <laughs> he was paranoid a lot. Okay, something terrible happens to me sometime after I go back to 1865. What is it? Uh, I don't think I'm allowed to tell you. Then I'll use your public library to find the answer for myself. Oh dear. Make Abraham Lincoln research Abraham Lincoln's fate. Mm? Mm, mm, mm. It's lagging a bit, sorry. Mm? Unbelievable. Your library stock's nothing but... Romance novels and books of something called Sudoku. <laughs> That's all anyone reads anymore. Kid, you got to tell me what happens to me. Am I in danger? Do I die or something? Because I will do literally anything to prevent that. Nothing is more precious to me than my life. I would gladly let the South win the war if it meant five seconds more of precious, precious living for honest Abe. History remembers what a huge coward I was, right? Uh, no. We have a pretty high opinion of you. <laughs> Great, listen. I'm gonna get this beard trimmed. Well, I do. I suggest you seriously reconsider telling me the truth. Oh. Make a Abraham Lincoln get a beard trim, and I think this is... It's not an animation. Oh, well. But this is one of the longest quest lines mm -hmm. I've ever done. Maybe the longest one, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mr. Lincoln, I'll make a deal. I'll tell you what happens to you if, as one of history's greatest debaters, you give a few pointers to the Springfield Elementary's debate team. Sure, make your president jump through hoops before you answer a simple question. How patriotic of you. I'm precocious. It's not a crime. Well, when I get back, I'm going to... I'm going to make it one. We'll call it the Lisa Simpson Amendment. <laughs> make Abraham Lincoln coach the Springfield Elementary Debate Team. Mm, mm, mm -hmm. mm, mm, mm. Gosh, this quest line is long. Mm, mm, mm. In a good way. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> okay, Mr. Lincoln. A deal's a deal. Here's what happens to you. On the night of April the 14th, 1865, you know what? If what I've seen of Springfield is typical of the rest of America in 2014, let some other stacker preserve this crappy union. I'm staying here. I'm afraid we can't let you do that, Mr. President. Oh, no. Yeah, well, good luck catching me. Lincoln away. McLincoln, run for it. Okay. So he's got to run for it. He's walking quite quickly. He's not running, but... <laughs> Man, that Lincoln guy is fast. 
Did you see where I went, pal? Uh, no. <laughs> but my top hat, moustache, less beard and frock coat. I haven't seen anyone matching this description of this. Abraham Lincoln. Hey, you're the him I was talking about. Drat, I need to modernise my look. Make Abraham Lincoln attempt to blend in. What? Oh, so this is another animation. Attempt to blend in, Oh. <sighs> <laughs> Good day, kind sir. I wish to purchase a beverage from your fine establishment. I have never encountered such a polite customer. I can only assume there is something deeply wrong with you. Please do not kill me. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Sorry, 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 sorry. I apologise. Just missed one part. Wait, I know you. You're the man from the take a penny, leave a penny tray. Curses. I must remember to be as rude and boorish as the rest of those these horrible people. Family bliss. Or double your money back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mr. Burns. If it isn't my boyhood pal, Abraham. Fancy meeting you here. Hiya, Monty. Could you keep your voice down? I'm kind of lying low. Of course. Say didn't something happen with you at the theatre a few years back? I thought I heard that. No, I'm fine now. Listen, do you think I could haul up at your place for a few years, just until the heat dies down? I suppose that could be arranged. If someone were to take an interest in a large pile of unsplit rail in my backyard, oh, it's a deal. Like Abraham Lincoln split rails. Mm -hmm. What? Here we go, but he's not doing it in Mr. Burns' backyard. But that is the last goal. It's chowder. Say it right. And, oh, no, that's Freddie Quimby. And we've still got one more animation to show. Give a public address. So let's see it. Mm -hmm. Oh. Here we go, let's speed it up. Oh, look, he's addressing. <laughs> it kind of looks like he... Yeah. There you go. Anyway, so, sorry about that. Okay, so um, I'll see you for the next video, which is going to be on the Halloween event. I'm so excited for this. I'll see you for the next video. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye.